Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at something in Faro, date and time, and if you take a look at the class, you see that it's got a pretty fair amount of code in it. The interesting thing is, is that there's a little conformance in Faro with things like VisualWorks and uh, VA Small Talk and the Small Talk standard, that is, timestamp class, which is a subclass of date and time. It just adds a few small messages here to make it conformant with what you'd expect to find across the range of standard Small Talk, ANSI Small Talk code. But over here in date and time, there's some interesting convenience methods that I didn't find in VisualWorks, for instance. And I say VisualWorks because when I wrote Bottom Feeder a few years ago, I had to create things like the Unix Epic message. And if you come in here, you find there's already one there. So Unix Epic, you can get that straight off this high guy already. So if you're writing network code and you're writing to APIs that expect this kind of thing, and trust me, if you look at network APIs, you find a lot of them need this kind of information. This kind of thing is fairly common. So it's nice to see that it's in there. And it's also nice to see that you've got this standards compliance with other small talks. So what I'd suggest you do is take a look at date and time class and take a look at timestamp and then compare that to other small talks and see how standard that is and how much it conforms across. It should make it a little easier if you have to write code that goes between versions of small talk. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.